Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera here with you today. We have come down to Meigs County here in southeastern Tennessee. We've brought you to the Cherokee Removal Memorial Park. This is the area in which um, in 1838 approximately where this is one of the beginning sites of the Trail of Tears. So this is a very historical area. It's a very rural area. It's a, uh, a farming community um, and a beautiful place. The state of Tennessee has put this memorial up. A lot of folks have come together over the past 20 years or so to make this happen. It took a lot of donations and, and, and folks uh, coming in together to make this happen, to make this work. This is sort of like a memorial that you would see in a wall that's been built. Um, it's very similar to the Vietnam Wall, uh, Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. So we thought we would make a special trip down this summer to come down here to show you um, everything that's here. And it's a very humbling place. Um, and uh, we just want to take you through the sights and the sounds and the spirit of this area. Not only is it the site of one of the beginning sites of the Trail of Tears, where they literally rounded up thousands of Cherokee uh, before they were put onto the ferry to be sent to Oklahoma. This is also a wildlife refuge area as well. So a great place for you to come um, as a family trip. Um, also to come as a homeschool trip or maybe you can get your school to come. It is free. So we hope you enjoy everything that you see today. We can always learn from history. It's very important too. So we'll take you around and show you what it's like.
We wanted to bring you down to the original site of the ferry. This is the actual original Blythe Ferry site where the Hiawassee, the mouth of the Hiawassee River is meeting the Tennessee River. This is where the 9,000 Cherokee Indians were gathered and brought and they were uh, had to be forced to be encamped here for up to six weeks because the river was so low they could not get on the ferry to make their um, removal and journey west. So we wanted to bring you down to the actual ferry site and to show you exactly what it looks like. Guys, up behind or connected to the memorial, we are up here on an overlook so that you can see what was uh, Hiawassee Island. Uh, right now, this is a main area for wildlife. It's a wildlife refuge. There's a lot of history in this area. The Cherokee were the last known to have actually lived in, on the island, um, but also now it is a refuge for bald eagles, and it is also a refuge for the sandhill cranes. They migrate here from November to February, and if you come up in the wintertime, especially in January and February, the river is extremely low and you will see thousands of them out here. It's a fantastic view. So we wanted to show you this area as well. It's all a part of Tennessee history and we are so glad that you came along with us today. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to us here at Appalachia's Homestead. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and our blog. And this has been a great trip for us. We hope you've enjoyed it. The folks here have been wonderful. They're very, very, very excited that you guys are getting to see all of this today. And they welcome you to come visit to you know, find out more about history. And do remember that it's free, so it's very family friendly and very important in understanding part of Tennessee history as well as American history. Y'all take care.